Well, hidey ho, my peeps. Okay, so I'm sitting here. It's, I don't know, seven o'clock-ish. Grant's down doing the um, uh, rehearsal dinner. I am not going because I don't want him to have to push me around up and down, you know, things um, in this wheelchair. So I wanted him to just go and have a good time. All right, so I just uploaded tonight's video, which was the um, Stephen King would love this place video. All right. And I'm going to start right into the next installment of my vlog about this hotel. First of all, we have to talk about my dinner. All right. So Grant went down, he got me some hummus and vegetables, which I ate was wonderful. Just freshly roasted hummus with tons of vegetables. It was great. Then I was, I was still hungry. So I thought I would go ahead and eat this chicken Caesar salad that he brought me. Great. So I'm eating it. It tastes wonderful. But I started to notice that there was a smell. This weird smell that I couldn't identify coming from this dang salad. So I sniffed the greens and they smelled interesting but not weird. The little crouton things, those were good. Then I picked up a piece of chicken. I took a bite of this chicken. It has a wang to it. I, <laughs> I had a hard time identifying it at first, but you guys know that when I do a sniffy sniffy, I leave no memory unturned, right? It was reminded me of something in my past. I couldn't quite get it at first. I did get it. All right, this piece of chicken and all the other chicken in here, look, I, it smells, and so consequently tastes like the gorilla enclosure at the zoo. It smells like the, like anywhere there's like um, simians of any kind, <laughs> baboons, gorillas, the orangutans, the little spider monkeys. Yeah, I don't care what flavor of simian we are talking. They all have the same strange smell, and this piece of chicken smells just like it. So, you know, I would take a sniff, and it would kind of blow me back in my seat a little bit. I was like, what is that? I sort of like the memory, but it, it, it's kind of freaking me out, and I, I don't want to eat it, but I sort of, I'm sort of attracted to it at the same time. I just don't know. And then it hit me gorillas this smells like gorillas <laughs> so i don't know I, I probably shouldn't eat it at all because I, I don't know why it smells like gorillas i could be ingesting you know my last meal of salmonella here i don't know but um i kind of don't think so i think it's just the spice combination they used however they cooked it <laughs> it just it's cracking me up so I I think I'm done. I think I'm done with, with my dinner tonight. So I will definitely put that aside. And um, yeah, so I'm going to continue on our little exploration of this possessed hotel. Well, hi ho, my peepa deeps. I thought I would have you guys come along with me for a little get ready with me. Boy, okay, so what am I using today? Well, I've already put on my foundation. I'm using this BB cream. Um, it So much of this belonged to my mother. I'm doing, I'm wearing old makeup because it was my mom. So I'm using that. And then let's see, on my eye, like for, I don't know what, what do you call this concealer? Um, I use this stuff. So those both happen to be Garnier's. I am going to use my Urban Decay um, Wonderful Intergalactic Shadow, and I'll probably use a little bit of this one as well. This is Solstice. I love those two shadows. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is like a this is like a powder foundation. I don't know if I'm going to use this or not. I'm not. I don't really know how to use most of this stuff. Um, I'm going to do my trick with the blue on my lower waterline. I did a whole video about that. 
I'm going to use some of this stuff to fill in my brows. I don't know. Probably use this mascara. I'm not certain. I may go completely without mascara because I think I'm going to use my Kiss lashes today. I really love this brand of lashes. If you put them on right, that you don't even feel them. So what else do I have? Oh, I've got this wonderful blush that I got because Leanne bought some. It's supposed to make you happy. Glow and mood boosting blush. I mean, come on, people. What kind of crap are we actually going to believe coming from these cosmetic companies? I don't know. That a blush is going to alter your mood. Well, maybe it could. I am probably going to do some... So I'm probably going to do something out of this Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I love this palette. Um, it's probably the only, only one that I've kept of all the palettes that I bought. So I'm going to probably use this as base and then use my Urban Decay over that. So uh, let's see what else. Oh, and last but not least, I was trying to put this on my eye this the other day, this eye studio. And I realized, Cheryl, you dumb shit, that's not, that is not eye makeup. That is Mermaid Tears Lipstick that I made myself. This is my dupe that I made, a, I don't know, a couple of years ago maybe. So I'm going to swatch this for you so you can see what it looks like on my skin. So anyhow, that is the dupe that I made um, for the Mermaid Tears. So I'm going to wear this along with the um, Mermaid Tears topper, like the lip gloss stuff that, that, you know, I actually bought when I was, where was I, Marshalls? Yeah, where I was at Marshalls the other week. So that's what I'm going to put on my face. I don't know how horrible I happen to look so far. I just slapped some of that foundation on and did my beauty blender thingy and this is a big experiment because I never wear makeup, so we shall see how this turns out. All righty, let's see what we can do with this mug of mine. Um, I All I did so far is just blow, blew my mop dry, and um, I don't know, what are you supposed to do first? I guess eyes, right? Is that what you're supposed to do? Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to put these on first or not. It's been so long I can't remember. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do um, shadow. All right. Okay, so anyhow, um, I'm having a great, just a really great time so far. Um, I've had a couple of bouts of pain, and I was so very, very thankful that I um, that I had the sense to bring enough drugs because this would have been, whoo, this would have been hard if I hadn't packed my tramadol and my uh, Aleve. I've used them both. Um, it is 134. We are supposed to be. Uh, at the wedding at 4. It starts at 4.30. So, um, Grant's in showering right now. He, it's so cute. He's got a, a gray tux to wear to this thing. And um, uh, I think they chose like a sort of a lilac or a wisteria color, kind of the color of my compact here as the... Um, you know, the other color. So it's this gray and kind of purple. Um, beautiful. It's going to be just adorable. I mean, you know, kids are just adorable these days. Weddings are so beautiful. Just makes you so happy. Makes me happy. All right. I think I am going to go ahead and flop on some of this um, Hello, whoa. Hello Flawless. Just, oh, that was a little com a little applicator. I'm going to go ahead and just slap some of this on and see what happens. I'm not really sure. 
feeling kind of flawless already, so I don't know. Take a look at my magnifying mirror. Yeah, okay, that that's acceptable. Kind of mats it all down a little bit, which is good. Hmm, okay, now, now, now what? I guess, oh, I know. I'm supposed to put on my base color off of this. So I think I'm going to choose just a, a kind of a light eye color. So I'm going to use this one here, this one here, right there. Kind of a, oh, and this is just, and this is matte too. I'm not using the, uh, I'm not using the, um, oh, you know, what do you call them? It's the sparklies. I'm going non-sparkly in the eye thing today. I wish I knew how to really do this. I mean, and, and could do it correctly. But, I don't know. Now probably isn't the time to learn, huh? Well, I figured if I use light enough colors, you really won't be able to tell if I screw it up that badly. So anyhow, this is just to put some skin color down. All right. Take a peeky poo at that. Yeah, that looks like skin color to me. All right. Okay, now. Now I think it's time for the Uh-oh, have I effed it up already? No, it looks okay in the sun. It looks like the shadows are weird here, but it looks all right in the sun. So the next thing is some of this lighter taupe kind of solstice color, they call it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on. Where am I going to put this? I guess on my lid and in the crease, I think that's where this is supposed to go. This color. All right. Oh, playing with makeup is fun. Don't you guys think? just wish I were more proficient at it. But I suppose the deal is you just have to do it, right? You just have to do it and pretty soon you will get proficient. Now I guess I need something darker right in here and in here and then I got to blend that up. I think that's what I'm supposed to do next. So, so now I'm going to use the darker Urban Decay in this purpley color. sure which side I'm supposed to use. Everything's so confusing. Brushes and sponges and they all have different sides for different you know things you're trying to make happen. It's just confusing. It confuses me. Oh Grant just walked out of the bathroom naked and threw his underwear towards me. Makes me feel like a rock star. <laughs> uh, I first checked to see whether which direction the camera was pointing. Oh, he 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 checked to see which direction the camera was pointing. He was hoping it was pointed towards him, so I'd have to blur out all the good parts. And they are good parts. Okay. I think that's enough, don't you? Let's just blend. Now you gotta blend. Blend, blend, blend. Oh my god, do you ever want to blend? Just blend that crap till you can't even see it anymore. No lines anywhere. Right? Right. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now this side. 
Blend, blend, blend. Okay, now I gotta look in the sun. Hang on. Okay, in the sun it's looking pretty good. Looks so weird here with all these strange. Oh well, and you know the other thing is this. This is like color change. It looks like there's more on this side, huh? Let's let's just put a little more on the other side. <coughs> no, no, it's just a trick of the light. Okay. So now, what's next? What do we do next? I think we put on some. Oh, I think we do brows, right? Brows is the next thing we're supposed to do. So, or no, wait. I think the next thing I will do is my blue waterline that my, my mother didn't teach me this, but she learned this at a makeup workshop when I was around seven or eight years old, something like that. And she took me with her to the makeup workshop. And the guy who was giving it was one of the um, okay I can't remember if it was one of the nine I, I, I remembered in my other video it was one of the very famous makeup artists from the 1950s 60s and 70s a family of makeup artists that did you know, movie makeup and that kind of thing. Um, anyhow, he was doing a little workshop in, in our town. And my mother went to it and he taught her this trick of using a blue eyeliner in your waterline so that, because it brightens your eyes. Instead of using white, you use blue. And in order to make this happen, well, maybe I could do it in here. No, I can't even see. Let's see if I can make this happen. This is not wanting to, I think it's just kind of glazed over. There we go. Of course, none of this stuff really makes that much of a difference anyway, but it's kind of fun to do if you have an event. Oh, now it's, now we're cooking with gas. There we go. Well, as burrito chef would have said, if you can't cook with gas, you'll do a slow burn. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, the billboards in LA, so it must have been true. All right. I'll 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 buy that. Okay. Now. Now it's time for brows. My brows are in pretty damn good shape, just as they are. But I'm gonna do a little fill in. So, so now we have um, Archer here, our uh, grandson. He's going to be hanging out with us. Oh, and uh, our trash, honey. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not Archer. It's housekeeping. I thought it was Archer. Um, and we're going to be watching him while his mom goes and does the, you know, the hair and makeup thing. She's one of the bridesmaids, so. Yeah. You know what I don't have? I don't have a spoolie brush to, you know, do whatever it is you're supposed to do. But I do have some dried out mascaras, so I can use the mascara. Okay, thank you now. Man, you know what? I don't think I've ever done this before on my brows. I, I oh, know yes. I know absolutely nothing about doing brows. Oh, this is a problem. This is a problem. Well, that looks all right. Let's see if I can make the other one look like that. Okay, thank you. So. Shoot, I can barely see. This is not good, I can barely see. All I can tell is that this, this eyebrow is very, very sparse right in there. Oh, man. Okay. 
we get sort of, oh, I filled it in pretty good, huh? Yeah, that looks better. Whoops. Oops is not a word you want to use when you're doing this makeup crap. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to find a dried out um, mascara that I can... I can, oh, that's not mascara, that's eyeliner. That I can use to smooth out my brows. Okay, here's one. I think this is dried out. Is this dried out? No, that's still goopy. That could be a disaster. Let's see this. I don't know what that is. That's not a mascara. I probably should have done... Oh, this is a good dried out mascara. Um, I should have done a run through, huh? A little dry run before... Before committing myself. Oh, I think this is going to work just fine. Kind of, kind of brush them up a little bit right here, right? Is that what you do? And then kind of over and down. Is that right? I think that's right. Oh, wait, it's this one. Yeah. Do the same thing here. This should be a brown, huh, instead of black. Oh, well, what else? Does it matter, really? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure Grant will love me anyway. Not of positive, course. but I think he will. You can see I have a little mistake to fix. Where's the... Here it is. Boy, you start getting... Everything starts to make you freaking nervous. All right. So now I do have a little something, something here I got to deal with. All right, there we go. Okay, I gotta look in the sun, hang on. All right, well, I think that's okay, I do. All right, now, now we're going to do, I wish you guys could see it in the sun, but I can't turn it in that direction really easily. Or maybe, maybe I can. Maybe I can. All right, so we're going to go with fake eyelashes now, which are a must. Got to do the fake eyelashes. Oh, Sarah, Grant's daughter, is a beautician. Um, she works cutting, doing like sports cut kind of places now. And um, she just got lash extensions. Oh, my gosh. I just... I'm so impressed with how that looks. It's just beautiful. And she gets a little a little professional discount from whoever is doing it for her. And it's I think it's worth it to keep it up. It's lovely. Okay. Now I'm gonna put you up here. All right, I think this is better. I think I can see a little bit better, and you can see a little bit better. Okay. Oh, you know what? You found a flaw. <laughs> a flaw. No, I think I'm think I'm doing all right. You guys think I'm doing all right? I think I am. Okay. So now <coughs> it's time for the kiss, la kiss lashes. But I tell you what. I hope I remember how to do this. Oh, now my eye's watering, for gosh sakes. Um, what the heck is that? Oh, I don't know. Um, it took me a long time to figure out how to do lashes. And then when I, and, and I don't know if I even recall how to, how to do this. So we're going to, we're going to see. We're going to see if I can do it without crying off all my makeup. Okay. 
these are just so lightweight. The band is really um, is really thin, and they just they just look so fluttery. I love them. All right. So why is my eye watering? This is not good. I think it's saying you don't normally wear makeup. So what the heck you think you're doing, girly? I'm gonna throw an allergy at you. Yeah. Or maybe just an irritation. We're going to hope it's just an irritation. All right, come here, you. I mean, look. Look at how kind of flimsy. They're kind of just flimsy. That band is like you can barely even see it. So. Let us just see what will happen here. I've got my duo. I'm using the clear because I'm not doing an eyeliner. I wanted to do a real kind of a light makeup. Unfortunately, in order to even see how to put on the dang glue. Okay. All right, let's see. Whoa. Uh-oh. This doesn't look right. That, that's not, again, that's not something you want to say. Oh, it doesn't look right because it's separated. Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> God dang it. I may have to run over to the girls and ask one of them to stick some, some dang eyelash glue. All right, okay. Well, I have the dark tone eyelash glue. Let's just see if we've got better luck. I don't know. I may have to just do mascara after all, but we shall, we shall, whoa. Nope, this is all also separated. No can do, the false eyelashes, that's unfortunate. That was gonna be the deal breaker, okay. So I'm gonna. Well, I could go over to the girls and borrow some glue from them. Huh? Um. Call Sarah and have her put it at the door. Uh. You can call Sarah and ask if there's, you know, if I can borrow some. If somebody has some extra, if not, it's no big deal. But um, that would be that would really be wonderful. I should probably. Well, you can talk to her. Okay. I will. Maybe. Get through yeah. It. Maybe not. She might not be answering. She might be in the chair. Okay. Now what are we going to do? Um, oh, my gosh. This is already over 20 minutes. Um, I'm going to put on... I'm going to put on my voluminous. The vol voluminous is just a classic go-to mascara. I'm not even going to curl my lashes because I don't own an eyelash curler. So anyhow, that's all right. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter anyway. I'm almost 60 and who cares? I would love to turn back the clock, though. I mean, even to 40. That, I, I, I really liked being 40. Because I still looked super young. Nobody could tell I was in my 40s. Yeah. Okay. See a show of hands. How many of you guys do this when you put on your mascara? It's like the more you open your mouth, the l more you're able to like not get it all over your face. Why is that? It's absolutely untrue, but I think we all do it. Of course, I'm busy flapping my yap at you guys, so I'm not doing that thing with the holding my mouth open. Oh, this is nice and clumpy. Oh, 
boy, when we get home, we have got some stuff to do. We have a huge yard that slowly needs to be cleaned up. We've got construction projects that Grant's going to work on. And I need to remodel my bathroom and kind of spruce up the kitchen. We have to finish the bedroom. I mean, there's so much to do. And I'm keeping a positive attitude. I'm like, I am going to get past this foot thing. I am going to get out of this god dang chair. And I'm going to be back to my old self. I am going to lose a boatload of weight and, you know, start acting like a normal person again. I just really need to believe that's going to happen. See now with the lower lashes the open mouth is really important. I say with the lower lashes as if I have any. Finding, finding a lash to put some mascara on is a bit of a challenge. Oh my, okay. I guess I'm doing all right. I'm finding some lashes down there. Uh, eh. I should probably be probably be doing this as a live stream, huh? But, but that just didn't occur to me. Perfect timing. It's 3.43. We have to head to the, uh, head uh, across the street to the wedding venue. I'm so excited. Um, let's see if you can see what I'm wearing this way. I have no idea. I'm going to do, this, do it like this again. So anyway, I've got on a, an antique celluloid brooch thingy. Uh, I've got earrings to match. These belong to Grant's mom. Um, I'm wearing my fleur de lis that my mother uh, gave me, uh, one of her last big gifts that she gave me, and I'm tarted up and ready to go. Okay, all right, I'm so excited. Here we go.